Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because we're full, full blown fall. We are full blown fall. Uh, in my last video, I shared some of my favorite fall eyeshadow palettes. If you haven't seen that video, definitely suggest you go checking that out. I'll link it up in my card. But uh, so today I wanted to use one of those palettes and create a fall look. So I created this like cut crease. I feel like it's something that's glam but not too glam it's something that's definitely still wearable uh but looks very 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 nice so i hope you guys really enjoy it this is going to be a talk through tutorial so buckle up because it's going to be long and uh i hope you really enjoy it if you're new welcome subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of my future videos i upload every single wednesday and friday you definitely don't want to miss out on any of my videos uh and yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to show you guys how I did this look. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to use my ColourPop pencil to fill in my other brow. I realized I never do my brows on camera. So I thought, why not do it today? No. Feeling it. I got this little tiny mirror from AOA, from Miss A, Shot Miss A. And I have like a couple things that I just had and never tried. That I'll try to try today. I don't know if I will. But this little mirror is awesome. Give me some good Halloween shirt ideas. Thinking of doing some Halloween shirts, and I want you guys to give me some good ideas and some Halloween ideas. You guys have been asking me to review the NARS foundation, the new NARS Pro Matte, I think it's called, something like that. I'm getting around to it and I'm going to review that for you guys. What do I have here? I have an AOA Studio Concealer in the shade yellow. I'm gonna try to sculpt my brows with that. I never sculpt my brows, but I thought I would give it a try because my brows always look super messy in pictures. So I'm going to sculpt these babies out. Whoa, this concealer is actually kind of thick. I definitely did not expect that. I actually have good coverage then. All right, so I am gonna start with the eyes and I do wanna do something fall. And I shared with you guys my favorite fall palettes recently and I thought I would use one of them. We create some sort of a look. Um, so I thought that's what we would do. This is just the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow base. Very easy. So I'm gonna get into this yellow shade, of course is so gorgeous. I got this palette specifically for this yellow shade, but I'm putting that in the transition into the crease. I'm gonna go with this shade right here called Riff. It's just like a warm brown shade. Alright, I'm gonna have to use this Revolution Concealer because I don't know where my. I always have a white concealer that I like to use to cut my crease, but I don't know where that's at. So, we're gonna use this one. So, there we go, I cut that side. And basically, what I do is I put some on there, I look up, and then I can see where my where it kind of like hits and that's how far up I go okay so I'm gonna put this on the first part of the lid like the first half and then I'll do this ignite in the outer half and the middle and we'll see how that turns out that shade in the first part of the lid so this is more like a toned down kind of look 
By the way guys, I did pick up and I did order not only the Christie palette, which I still haven't got, the Raw Beauty Christie, but also the Oh my gosh, how am I drawing a blank? Oh, the Nikki Tutorials palette. So here's the copper shade right here, just so gorgeous. I think I wanna use that as an eyeliner. And then there's also this green which would also look good, but it's this like dark, almost black green. I don't know what to do. This one's called Pistachio. It's their matte. They're called the Buttercream Gel Eyeliner Shadow. These are so good, guys. So good. And this is nice because you can actually also kind of smoke it out too. I can tell just from the consistency that you don't have to just, like it's also meant to be a shadow so it can be smoked out. So the eyes are done. Let's put on some lashes. I'm really excited because I have some really good lashes that I want to share with you guys that I think you guys would love. They're called Immore and they're so beautiful. These are from Alter Ego. Oh my gosh, just look at this lash. It's just so freaking beautiful. I am in love with these lashes. These are my new favorite lashes. Lashes are on, look at this beautifulness right here. It's so gorgeous. Today I want, I'm gonna have to swatch this first. I wanted to use this Dior Skin uh, Nude Air Foundation. It's been a while since I've used it. Let me make sure it's gonna look good on me though. Doesn't match me completely, but mm, let's use it. Why not? So I'm gonna use that. Dropping that all over my face. This like has this foundation is very beautiful. All of Dior's foundations are very beautiful. Um, but this has like almost a powder finish, so it just I don't even know how to how to explain it. It's like a cloud finish. It like looks like you have angel skin. Like I can't even explain it. The only fault with this foundation is that their shade range is absolutely horrific. If they took the time to actually come out with a shade range, kind of like their backstage where they have olives and all different types of shades, uh, I think more people would like this foundation. Like they would try it, they'd want to try it. But the shades are just so terrible that even this one is like not a perfect match. It has like more of a peachy tone to it, but this is the closest one that matches me. Like there's nothing I can do about that. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Fenty Cream in Teddy and we're gonna just use this just for contour and then I'll go in with something different for bronzer. This one is really dark, so I have to be careful. If you're gonna get this Fenty Cream Bronzer. Get the one lighter to this. This one's Teddy 05. Get the lighter, the lighter one, the uh, 04. I don't remember what shade that is. It's supposedly it will fit us twinsies better. And I should have just, when I opened this, returned this and got that one, but I didn't. So now I'm using it up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this one here. This is the Perpetually Tan from the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzers, and I'm gonna bronze with this. This is really pretty. And it is matte, so it's just gonna give me that bronze look. Skin looks baby soft. And it's funny because the foundation itself smells like a baby. Like, I can't even explain it. It smells like baby scent. Like yummy baby powder scent and my skin really does look baby soft right now so the highlighter I'm gonna go in with is the elf highlighting jelly uh, this one is called dew this one's really 
very beautiful and I feel like it would match the look that we have going on but we have to be so careful with it because it can get crazy quick so I'm gonna try to use a little bit of my on my sponge here and go in carefully oh this is going to be an interesting oh, it's like the thing with jellies is it's like they dry so freaking quickly it has to be you have to make it so that it doesn't dry so quickly okay for blush i'm gonna do this one an old favorite the apricot in the middle from wet n wild this is such a beautiful blush so i'm gonna use this blush I'm gonna try to use this combo right here. So this is the uh, Perfect Precision Lip Liner from LA Girl, and this one is in Flesh. And I'm gonna use this one. Okay, then I'm gonna try to go in with this color. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop in Etoile. I feel like today was a calm fall makeup tutorial. I think that I did a good job of being so chill. Probably because all my kids are with their, my husband, with their dad. And I'm just chilling, relax it. <laughs> this is how the look turned out. I hope you guys really like how it turned out. I will link all the products below for you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I do upload every single Wednesday and Friday. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.